Welcome to the EE voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you've called is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. After you've finished your message, just hang up. Or to hear more options, please press 1. Hey James, I, I saw what happened in the news. I was just wondering if you're okay. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit worried about you, mate. What's happening with your parents? I just call me back when you can. Don't do anything stupid, all right? You'll be all right. We can sort this out. Hi, my name's James. I need to book a session. Will today at 12 be okay? Okay, see you then. Okay, see you then. Bye. Bye. Hi, James. I saw the news. Are you alright? What's happening with your parents? Don't do anything dumb and call me when you can. James, you need to tell me. You have to get down to the root of your problems. Okay. From the beginning. Okay. I was walking down the stairs and I could hear shouting. And I knew my dad was hitting my mum. How did you know it was your dad? Because he's... He was always drunk. And he took it out on my mum when things didn't go his way. Do you know what they were arguing about? It was something she couldn't control. It was always something like that. Do you know what happened after? Uh, yeah, I, 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 um, I think I... Social services came through your door, remember? Then you ran to your dad to try and stop him. Yeah, yeah, I... Stop doing that! Stop what? No, um, <clears throat> it's nothing. No. No, James, you have to keep pushing. We're about to make a breakthrough. So, what really happened? What was it like? It's like... You know the feeling you get when you're about to jump into a pool. You test the water first, and you know the water's cold. But you also know that once you're in, it'll be all over. And all that stands between you and the water is one step. But you couldn't take that step. What changed? Um. I don't know really. Maybe it was the. Are you gonna tell him about me? You can't hide me forever, you know. Go on, say something. I don't know what to say! Sorry? Um, no, uh, it's nothing. Okay, can we still. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Can you come back next week? That's a long fall. You sure you want to do that? I have to. I just have to go for it. You're pathetic. You know that. You can't open up to anyone. You can't talk to friends. You don't want to stay with relatives. And now you're here. After what? After trying nothing. After not letting anyone help you. And you expect anyone to feel sorry for you. It's not like that. Well, what is it like then? Because it seems to me like you don't want help. Think of everyone that cares about you. Imagine how they'll feel. It doesn't matter what they feel. It only matters how I feel now. I've been through it, you know, day after day after day. Do you know what it's like to hear your mother screaming and crying and knowing it's your dad, your own father, doing it to her? Do you know what it's like not being able to do anything about it? Of course I know. I'm you. I'm the part you keep locked away, the part you don't want to show. It seems like I'm the only part thinking rationally. I'm thinking rationally. I know what I've got to do.
Welcome to the EE voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you've called is not available. Hey James, it's your Uncle Nick here. Your answer and I just watched the news. And blind me, it was awful. I'm so, so, so sorry that you had to go through that all by yourself. But now that you have gone through it all by yourself, I want you to know that your Aunt Sarah and I really do care about you, James. And we really do love you. And you can come to us about anything, whether it's about this or something completely different. Because we do care and we want to know things about your life. Like school, football, your mates, or if it's something you want to wear the next day. We do care and you can come to us. But with that being said, I do need to tell you this, man to man. You're in an incredibly emotional state right now, James. And you're incredibly vulnerable as well. Don't let, allow yourself to be peer pressured. Don't allow yourself to make a stupid mistake. I do not want you to have regrets at this age, James. Hear this. Please hear this. Especially from someone who's been in your shoes before. I love you. And please think carefully.